Hello and welcome to another episode of Places I Like to Run. And today I'm going to be joining you from a place in Burton on Trent called the Washlands. <laughs> So the Washlands is a small nature area between the two bridges in Burton, probably extends a little bit further past that, um, right in the centre of the town. Um, so it's a nice place that I can come and run away from traffic. Uh, it's often just a few dog walkers, maybe you've got cyclists and things like that. And there's just a little bit of a path all the way around the loop. So it does cover about, sort of we make up about two miles of a loop, which I have to say I have borrowed from we have a um, two mile relay race in the summer as part of our Burton District League organised by Washington Runners um, so I have sort of borrowed that route to do my training on because it's great for doing those interval sessions doing those tempo sessions that you've probably seen in some of the other videos the other thing about the Washlands is by its very name it's on a floodplain so Often this time of year, when we've got a few showers, um, maybe with the icy weather as well, it's not draining as quick, and the river's a bit higher, a lot of it tends to be underwater. So that two mile loop I just, two mile loop I just mentioned often gets adapted where I can only stay in one half of the washlands because otherwise you're running through massive puddles. So the area also encompasses um, a lovely river to run alongside. I always do like running next to a bit of water, whether that be around a lake, next to a canal. But the trench's pretty good. A little bit murky, but it's better than running next to traffic. So quite enjoy running there. And just over the other side of the river is the washland. So I'm in Stapenal Gardens at the moment, which got some fun memories of growing up, particularly over that area. Um, the other side called the hollow so I remember playing cricket there with my brother and my granddad when I was younger so a bit of nostalgia coming back through this part so here is a map of the Trent Washlands the State Mill Woodland Walk which looks to me from that map very similar to what I get from Strava something that I start around here run out this way so I run sort of this way round round back this way and do a full loop there and loop down this bit so that takes around two miles to do that and it looks like there's quite a few different trees to see on the way although as i'm going through all my tempo session or intervals i'm often not noticing those in the background most of the time just looking at the watch to see when my interval will end so yeah there's some trees to look out for too So a bit of local history, the bridge you can see in the background is the Ferry Bridge of Burton, which was gifted to the town by Michael Arthur Bass at the Bass Breweries. He later became the Lord Burton and it replaced a simple ferry crossing which used to take people from one side of the bridge to the other. It actually opened in 1889 as you can see on the bridge, which was significantly the same year as the Eiffel Tower opened in Paris. Coming into this section of the Washlands here is a place called the Ox Hay, which traditionally used to be where the Burton Rugby Club had their training pitches for all yeah, the training and the juniors. Um, but now they've moved to a newer facility slightly out of the town at Branston. Um, a great facility there, so this is no longer really used. So they've got a bit of a footpath down the middle, which on one video I did have to take that footpath as this path I'm currently on was flooded. This section of the washlands we're just running into now is just through the woods going back towards the library. This is often the section that seems to throw me off my rhythm a little bit on those tempo and intervals. So there's a few twists and turns. So when I'm making excuses for why my splits might be a bit slower, I often look to see, oh, has it been in the woods loop? Maybe I can put that in my Strava description to say it slowed me down. And we also, Run across a similar themed black and white bridge 
back towards the library so that one we had the other end of the washlands we've got a smaller version called the Andrasay bridge which looks like it was built first actually which surprises me but yeah it's been up since 1884 and it's still up with me running across it so that's a good sign so the library is usually where I start and finish my loop this is the area where the relay changeovers would happen on that washlands relays from the summer I'm back in this direction between the library and the leisure centre the meadow side there is ample place to park although I think it is a charge car park I often don't have this trouble on this loop as I live about a mile away from it so I just take my warm-up down jog down and knock out my tempo or my interval session here another little bridge here which might look familiar from some of those sessions YouTube videos a little bit um, uneven running over there so want to watch out for in the relays so you can take the I normally take this path for my intervals but we'll go the slightly muddier path and hope that it's not flooded today so a little bit of a detour right next to a river which is nice On the other side of the ferry bridge now so let's come across some swans which i do see most days here by running by the river but i know it's not probably a bit rare if you're watching from somewhere else i know we have had some viewers previously on the channel from as far as north carolina so let me know in the comments if you don't see many swans or if there are any interesting wildlife around where you go and see on your runs It'd be interesting to know just a little bit of information there on the Stapenall Riverside Recreation Gardens, which mainly this big white swan behind us. There it is. I'll just pan through these a little bit. Some pictures there. And I know I've just described this beautiful nature area to you, but it wouldn't be Burton without maybe a shopping trolley or something in there. So there we go. So it's time to leave the Washlands now, just heading back through Stapenall Gardens and back towards home now before work. So just going to thank you all for listening, for watching along and the support of the channel. Um, please do let me know in the comments what are your favourite places to run. It'd be interesting to know and find out maybe some new routes near where you are if you're local maybe some that haven't tried before see you in the next one